What is going on guys and welcome back to another video and today we are covering five WWE employees who need to be fired. Coming in at number five we have the Shining Stars. Primo and Epico have been given multiple chances to shine. See what I did there? Hmm, hmm. In all seriousness, I am beyond confused as to why these two guys are even still employees with the company. They started out as Primo and Epico and made their debut in 2011. They would even go on to win the tag titles from around the time of 2011 all the way through 2013. Eventually, that gimmick would get stale and they were repackaged as Los Matadores. Vince McMahon seriously thought this was going to be a gimmick that pushed them into the conversations of the greatest tag team of all time. Somehow, this would last from 2013 through 2015. They were not seen on TV until 2016 when they were brought back with a new gimmick. This time, they were the shining stars and they still are actually. Basically, they are brothers who bring a brochure of Puerto Rico showing how beautiful it is. Oh boy, I don't dislike these two guys personally, but I feel like they're wasting their time here. They would be better off being in Lucha Underground in my opinion. Number 4, James Ellsworth. Signing James Ellsworth was a huge mistake in my opinion. I loved James Ellsworth when he was brought on TV as a jobber against Braun Strowman. I even like when SmackDown brought him on TV. Hell, him beating AJ Styles the first time with the help of Dean Ambrose was fun. I thought it was way too much when he beat AJ Styles the next week by DQ, and then the third time in a ladder match for the SmackDown Live contract. The worst was when he screwed Dean Ambrose at TLC. I feel like the whole Ellsworth buzz died after that week he beat AJ the first time. They kept bringing him back on TV for way too many times, and in a result of that, fans would quickly turn on him. Currently, he has been paired with Carmella as, I guess, her manager, and I don't see this going anywhere, and I think it's pretty pointless. I liked what Carmella had going with the whole Nikki feud and just being a complete savage on the mic. Ellsworth might be holding her back a bit. I would have much preferred him making special appearances here and there. Number 3, Kurt Hawkins. When the brand split happened last summer of 2016, it was reported that WWE wanted to bring back some old wrestlers in order to fill up the rosters. Many expected guys such as Jeff Hardy, Matt Hardy, and Rey Mysterio to come back. Instead, we were given Kurt Hawkins. I actually liked Kurt Hawkins while he was a part of the Edgeheads. I don't know why, but he was perfect for that role. When it was announced he was coming back to WWE on SmackDown, I said, Oh, it's SmackDown, so you know what, they give guys chances. Let's see where this goes. Nope, I was wrong. He was supposed to fight at No Mercy, but he came out and announced that his first match was actually going to be the following Tuesday. Did he fight there? Nope! He left the ring because Apollo Crews punched him in the face. Overall, his terrible gimmick and racking up losses made him nothing more than a liability. WWE could have signed a new and younger guy that has a lot of potential rather than bringing back someone from the past to be a jobber. Number 2, David Otunga. David Otunga is something special. He made his debut a part of the Nexus that seems to be taking over the WWE. Unfortunately, that miserably failed due to John Cena. Shortly after that, he was moved to singles competition. After he filled with that, WWE decided to keep him and move into commentary. Usually, they send new commentators to NXT or pre-shows to see how they would do. Apparently, they didn't do this with David Otunga. Otherwise, they would have realized how bad he is. In all honesty, he is the one thing I hate about SmackDown. Even JBL has gotten so much better. The fact that Otunga is allowed to say more things than Tom Phillips is mind-blowing. Some of the things he says are straight up dumb. I remember at TLC, he said two of the dumbest things I've ever heard from a commentator. First off, he called the ladder a chair. The second thing is that he said The Miz is not athletic. Who? Who says that? You do not make a wrestler look bad. And also, you're wrong. Miz played many sports in high school and wrestles every day. Otunga continues to say stupid remarks and needs to be fired immediately. And number one, Kevin Dunn. Kevin Dunn, Kevin Dunn, oh Kevin Dunn. You are one lucky man that is somehow still with this company. Some of you may not know who Kevin Dunn is, and some of you are completely aware and agree with me on this one. For those who don't know who he is, he is a man that is behind the scenes who runs the operations with Vince McMahon and Triple H in the gorilla position. The reason why I think he needs to get fired is because he is a moron when it comes to wrestling and the fact that he gets paid the most in the company is literally insane. Also, he is an asshole who has a lot of say in the company. He thought Becky Lynch's accent was too deep and didn't like it. Therefore, he told Vince McMahon that she needs to talk less. That is disgusting. Once Vince McMahon leaves the company, don't be surprised to see Dunn go with him. I'm just hoping it happens a little earlier. 
as always, thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, do not forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. Also, make sure to follow me on Twitter at Valenplana. Check out my other channel, Official Life Facts, and I'll see you all later.